Hey, Robert Murray here again with another new feature. We have significant, a significant upgrade inside of Groove Forms. So I'm just going to go in and, in fact, I'm going to create a new form. I'm just going to call this test one, two, three. Let's spell test. And you'll see there's two new elements inside of the form builder now and it's design and integrations. So it's very similar to the first stage of uh, the previous form. So you can obviously come in here, you can edit any of the fields, etc. Uh, you can change the text here, you can add new fields. You see all the different fields here. You can go into the button and you can modify the text here. Set now. You can also add a sub label now, which is kind of cool. And we've also added a few new fields in here. So when you go into select fields, you'll see we've added uh, accept terms and conditions. So again, you can go in and edit this field here and make it required if you want. We've also added uh, date of birth. And you'll see here, this will come with a placeholder like this, so they can type it in or, and just over here, it will have a little uh, calendar. It's just my last passes in the way. Also, we've added a paragraph field now, so you can add as many paragraphs as you want. So you could drag this down here, for example, and just add in here about, you know, are you, are you agreeing to the terms and conditions? And also over here, you have different templates that will load. So for example, you can click on any of these different templates here and it will modify, but obviously it will override what you've already added. So let's click OK and you see those over there. So let's go next and, and go into the design. So now we're under design. You'll see over here, this has changed. You now have templates again so we could change this if we wanted to and override what we've got on the screen but you also have presets now so it's set up as a default so this one is obviously the default and then you have a different version of a super simple blue button if i can say it so if i change this to one of the different ones again you'll see it will override it and then i can go into the presets here and you can see I have different versions that I can use, but the default is always there. But again, you can see there that you can rename or clone or these ones you can rename, clone, or you can set as the default or delete. And presets is just the, the styling. So in design, once you click in here, it's going to open up the, the customize on the right hand side. And you can see in here, you can change everything. Now this is like being inside of uh, Groove Pages. You have heading settings. You can change the sizes, the where the text is, etc., etc. Uh, subheadings, paragraphs. You can modify all your fields, so you can you know decide where the text is on the field, etc. All the colors, all the spacing. And if we go into button, you'll see that you can make the button widths different uh, or how wide it is and the same thing again with the button you have a small a medium a large over here I think the default is set to medium you can center right full and obviously you can go in and change the colors over here if you want to and once you click here this will now reset this preset so this will save this as a new preset. So this one now, if I go away from it and come back, it saved those save those it saved those settings in under the preset vertical teal contact form. And if we go into settings here, you can now see I'm working on the, the layout type. Do I want horizontal? Do I want it custom? Do I want it vertical? Do I want it left align, right align, center? You can also hide the fields if you want. And you can also see how it looks on different devices. And you have the option here where you can change the width, etc. You can also, if you click into custom, you'll see this will appear over here, rows and columns. 
So you can now uh, mess around with this. You can add a row, uh, obviously let me get rid of that, or you can add a column and then you can drag things around uh, to wherever you want. So if I wanted to add a row, and then maybe add the button down here, that's exactly what I could do. And then that sets that like that. So yeah, you can start messing around with additional rows, etc., which is very cool. But I'm just gonna go back to how I had it. So plenty of new things you can do with your, your design. Also, when you click into here, you'll see there's an advanced mode. So you can see it adds some different labels in here. So you can now go in and mess around with the fields, etc. You can go into the email headings, subheadings. You can add customization. So yeah, lots you can do in here. So let's go to the next step. And this is your setup. And let's just add a list here, just so I can go to the next step. Obviously you're gonna complete all of this. This is pretty much the same as it was before. Uh, you can obviously set up all of your settings after someone's opted in. But I want to go to show you the integration. So now you have membership, so I could add a membership. Let's just do this, just to show you a demo. And then we have integrations. You can add any of your integrations you already have set up in here. You can also add a webhook. So you grab your webhook URL and files. You can now add your files in here. So let's just, I'm just gonna add this one again, just so we can do a demo. So integrations is, is very new. This now helps you to make it much, much easier. And when we click next, we now have the, the form. So let's go to, Let's quickly find HTML preview. So let's open this and let's just go and grab the code. And you should be able to see now that I can, uh, I can obviously complete this. Let's just go in here and click submit. I didn't set up any of the redirect settings, so I'm not even sure where that would go. I was just automatically going to Groove CM. And as you can see, Groove Seller sent over our files that we added there. Uh, I can't remember which one we added. And it will automatically send over the membership login details for the members area that we selected. And you can see here, you can actually change the preset over here as well. So you can change it to the simple blue, etc. cetera. Uh, we'll stick with the, the one we had. And also you can grab the raw HTML code. So yeah, that is um, Groove Forms, a lot to digest, loads going on. Uh, I'm sure there will be bugs, etc. So please inform us when things may aren't, maybe aren't working so we can get those rectified and get the form working very, very efficiently. So that's it. I look forward to seeing you on the next new feature.